All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Northern Lords Royal Court DLC Part 121. And we're about to declare war on the Mongol Empire again for more of their kingdom. Let's absolutely just get right into it and get to the good stuff that we're all here for and start taking over. They're down to 5,000 troops right now. They are struggling. Massively. It's only a matter of time, really. Like, we are on the way here. Wabri is still in fine health, so I think he's going to be fine for a while, to be honest. Look at this goblet. A ceremonial goblet of masterful craftsmanship is made with made of glass with ruby inserts. That is... That is... That is not a good goblet, actually. That is... How is that a purple goblet? Okay, interesting. She deserves to know her power, absolutely. Shakdokt, Ethelthrith, Asa Stostir. That's cool. That's a cool name. <laughs> what is this jester doing right here? That's quite a... That's quite a pose to strike. Okay. 1264 AD. Man, oh man. I'm gonna be honest, if not for YouTube, I don't know if I would have ever made it this far into Crusader Kings 3, or even 1100 AD. But you guys watching makes this so much more entertaining to me, so I'm, I'm just glad you're here, to be honest. Wow, he's gonna be gathering for another 270 days? What? Hold up now. Let's all gather here first, I guess, since we have time. <coughs> and hopefully we can get a full war score thing going on here real quickly. Okay. Uh, innovations, where are we at on that right now? Oh, wait. Traditions and pillars. I bet we haven't looked at this in forever. Wait a second. We haven't looked at this in forever. We could establish a new tradition right now. What are we doing? Okay. Development growth plus 20%. Control growth down. Hmm. That's right. Legalistic. Vassal limit plus 30. Yes, do legalistic, absolutely. Make it so. In 30 years, we're gonna have 30 more vassal in it. Wait a minute. That's gonna get us to 126. We might actually be able to handle the amount of vassals we have if we get legalistic in place. That's insane. 30 vassal in it is so much. That is a huge increase in vassal limit. Absolutely enormous. All right, let's get this army together. Because this thing's not gathering for a while. It's even got Jochi leading it, so like, there's a chance we could just capture High King Jochi here and call it a really quick war. <coughs> Sorry about my throat right now. What is going on? Hold up. <coughs> Oof. Sorry. If I'd have known I was going to have throat problems, I would have tried to... <laughs> Clear that out before we started here. I still have them every once in a while, ever since I caught the 19. My throat has never recovered the same, unfortunately. Is what it is, I guess. And voila. Here we are, ready to take it to them. While they're still gathering, no less. They are doomed. Actually doomed. Take the king, right here. End the war. Oh. We didn't get him. Looks like we killed <laughs> it looks like our rival got killed in there though. 68 to 65, 40. Alright. At least we got 50% war score from it. So even though we didn't capture the leader, it should 
speed things up greatly. Oh, that'll do it. Now we have High King Jochi. And we can't force him to be... Yeah, we can't convert him. Okay. Alright. Good, good war, everybody. So be it. Disband all. Take this kingdom, create it. Give it to this guy, because he's a great guy. We have a system at this point. And now we work on getting a claim. And by getting a claim, I mean, you know, trying to get rid of that truce with our, dipl our diplomat just being really good at it. Because that was crazy that one time that he pulled that off. That was huge. That was huge. But I think for the meantime, I will speed things up again while we're waiting for the next war. Because inevitably, that's what we're doing right now. Ooh, training gr grounds of Farfa, actually. And actually, enough, enough is happening right now. I haven't needed to speed it up yet. Yeah, show Queen Yortelman at once. Yeah. Serve me well, my man. 50 renown because he's a Ravenheart. Nice. Okay. Prisoner counts down to 63. Very nice. We were over 300 at one point. The Mongol Empire is down to 28 remaining counties. They are a shadow of them for of their former selves. They are nothing of what they used to be. <clears throat> Alright, let's speed this up. Should I rest hold? No, I mean... Okay, wait. A local mayor's underling, Ethel Rita, requests a private audience. Um, okay. Claiming to know who's behind the recent disappearances of Erica and other travelers to my court. My lord, I have uncovered a shadowy cabal led by Hul, the traitor. They call themselves the Manic Watch, and those who they claim tarnished the Empire's grandeur often soon disappear. When affects the grocer, she denies everything, claiming the woman is delusional from too many years on the mean streets of Ravenholm. She, oh man, she's brave, diligent, quick. Oh yeah. Imprison Hold. Oh my god, a shame you had to get involved, Ethel Rita, and raise court grandeur for that? What? Oh man. This stuff's wild. Yeah, arrest hold and then come work for me. This bitch crazy. That's wild. I'm, I'm very surprised by that. Look at our empire as a whole right now. Just these couple of holdouts on the language front. Just Mongolic from the Mongolians and Shah's Turkic up there. That is what it means to be a guardian. We're already friends. Okay, we'll get a wee cook then. If we're already friends, might as well. The abhorrent fiend. So close to complete Norse takeover. So close to whole world takeover. What am I saying? We're kind of there. A parade of important locals from Ravenholm have spent the night, have spent the day, trooping through my hall. Each one with a unique grievance against my courtier Elfgith. Some complain about her behavior, others her honor, but all grand one thinks she's disgraced to the court. The unwashed masses call for nothing less than a declaration, declaration of nithing, casting her out. Oh yeah, she's craven, not useful. Sure. Nithing. Okay. And, okay. Sure. See ya. That's what the people call for, and I don't know that girl. And I have no reason to protect her either. Yes. That's one more. It's just that one left. The whole world. We're one step away. Who is this? Till we meet again, Ethelthrith. Another astute intellectual. Okay. We can run with that. It's a uh, Tuva. <laughs> if the kingdom of Tuva changes to. Oh! Innovation discovered. Rifle ownership. Hell yeah. If Tuva switches to Norse, we finally have the whole world speaking the same language. 
Now it's on Noblesse Oblige. Okay. In 15 years, we'll have Direct Vassal and Fellow Vassal Opinion plus 5. Promissory Notes in 5 for development growth. Okay. Good, good. And I'll probably take that next, to be honest. Renaissance thought. Yeah, we're going to have almost every innovation in the game by around 1380. It's going to be insane. Lots of cheating everywhere. Just like there always is, unfortunately. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty stallion sleep near and offers his services. All I ask in return is a small compensation. Okay. He needs to be str he needs to move more swiftly, something needs to learn. Okay. Slamir took to his training well, and results could be seen instantly. The money was well spent. Gained agile work for horse. Nice. Wobbery 78 prowess. Another grand right. You know I'm always down for a grand right. Let me check this. Armor? Legendary. Say no more. Only 70. That's interesting. Oh, 465. There it is. I recruited him to my court. Whoops. That's a totally different price. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Yep, I did. Oh well. Okay, the Vatican. Alright, we can unpause now. The Vatican can get the vast crop fields. Very nice. Teach me stewardship. Avaricious. There it is. Got a whole new trait. Two stewardship and 15% holding taxes. Okay. Till, may she watch over until the end of the next grand right. What an ugly background that was. Look at how many traits Wabri has. He's almost on the third row. What a legend. I would love to be able to declare war on this man again. Just saying. Just saying. Of direction. Um, okay. To cause more casualties to them. To encur yes, a knight related modifier. To encourage my champions to greatness would be a great part for the armor. What is our current armor right now? Yeah, I mean, the 12 prowess is insane, but the rest of that could be better. Thing is, do I dare break the truce again now that I know people like me more, you know? Do they like me enough though that I could get away with breaking a truce? That that was that was a big risk last time, and I don't think it's worth it. Develop the capital. Let me hold the court after I take care of this. Trouble fulfilled, good. Let's hold court then. The peasant man stands before me, informing the court of his plea. The recent war took a toll on the countryside, and we're not sure who the culprit was, but they looted an important cultural site to us, Nariminian Kyrgyz from Terengi Kull. Please, we beseech you, spare some of your resources so we can see it restored. Sure. Whoa. My lord, I regret reporting that I'm at the end of my tether. The people over which I should rule are uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians. She's bursting from the seams of her clothes. Queen Cinnabar is a pretty cool person. Oh, here we go. Development growth plus 20% in all those places. We gain fortune grandeur. All you send your royal art to develop the county's infrastructure. All for 300 gold. Easy. Absolutely. They're hanging us, hounding us. We don't need excessive bloodshed. Curious idea, let's try it. Business here is done. Because we're not Sifty Impaler anymore. <laughs> Slow down on the slaughter. He likes, still likes us more than he doesn't after all the wars we've waged. Pretty crazy. Another, another uh, Grand Right. Alright. Very cool. I am so down. Oh, 50 piety. Damn. 
Learning lifestyle perk, okay. Okay. Interesting. I could see us needing to change our religion. I could see that happening, just saying. Oh, hell yeah, new, new inspiration to sponsor? I'm on it. Oh my god. Triple ins inspiration and she is worth 570. She's going to die before she gets it done. They always die before they get it done. Damn it. Inspiration funded. I trust your instincts to bring me something great. Inspiration fellow connoisseur. Uh, please take this. Okay, it's one of those where they give money to improve it. Thank you. How generous. Thank you. Slightly higher. And another legacy. <clears throat> Control growth up. That is our 41st legacy. Now 20750 for the next one, but we're getting over 300 right now a month. So only a matter of time before that one happens as well. Only about five years before that one comes along. Behind this. I mean, Wabri's already known for breaking truces. I'm thinking about it for real here. Hold up. I think Wabri has the kind of connections that he could get away with this. Oh. Um. Tuva is three, five, eight counties. And Angara is. More than that, that's for sure. Well, Wobbery, you're already known as the Truce Breaker. Let's be honest, you are. You've done it before, and you're about to do it again. I think we make our play here. And then we're just going to have to buy a lot of people's happiness. There you have it. We did it. We committed. You ready for this faction? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Saw this coming. A mile away. Wow, he was a Satru and only liked us at 25? Whoa. Envious Artisan. Yeah, I'll match it. Absolutely. That's just a win-win. Now, uh, anyone else trying to join this independent faction? You? He was also a Satru already? Okay. That's scary. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody calm down. <laughs> yeah, breaking truces, man. It's <laughs> That's risky business. Start swaying him for now, since it's not even at 100. <clears throat> you would think we'd have people happier than this, but that minus 50 from breaking a truce is enough. And they really don't like it when you do that. Oh, my master of the horse. Come on, everybody. Plus 100, right? It's time to drop it. Okay. I get it. Okay, it's a bad thing. Won't happen again with Wabri. I guarantee it. On my honor. We won't do it again with Wabri. Just please let it go. Let Wabri have this one more time. Good. Uh, great artifact preserve. No. Let, it, let that go. The vile fiend. Uh, 
Alright, that should be everybody, I would think. Yeah, these two are sticking with it for a bit. They're like, yeah, but what if? 92% <laughs> it's higher quality. Hell yes. I have a few suggestions. Sleep near, no! No pri price is too steep. 150 seems overpriced normally, but with our nation that has way more money than it needs, we're back over 250,000. It's fine. All right, that wasn't bad. Um, either higher or slightly higher. No guts, no glory. Make him pay. Yeah. Hopefully she doesn't die before it's over. Ooh, someone in the dynasty had a murder attempt. Queen Beatrice of Yemen survived because of family connections at 83. Let's go family connections. It's such a good perk, honestly. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? Um, to my beloved Briska, of course. We have to dedicate something to Briska before Wabri passes away. More cadet branches. Are we over 10,000 members? We are 10,223 living members of the Ravenheart Dynasty. The legendary Ravenheart Dynasty. Wild. 66% higher is, a, is worth taking the chance. Yes. Hysterical Fiend. We're getting a lot of high increases on this armor, I feel like. Oh my god, yes, higher. Yeah, I feel like we're crushing the random events on that one. Vatican gets grain silos. Almost together here. There we go. Alright, go take him out. 53 Marshall. Okay, we're not kind of kind of not messing around out here. Up to 6.8 percent per county. We're really coming along here. <coughs> Stop the bill behind this, like we always do. Ufer has joined the Branging Guard. Uh, often ordered to not delay my quest over long, and give it and buy one of their little trinkets. I have sent a courier bearing the tat your way. Perhaps it will provide some amusement. We use as an adventurer who takes the common path. Huh. Cuddlebone St. Varden figure audit artifact. Apparently Wabri doesn't like she took the common path. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, another guy is not too happy about us. Fair enough. Take care of it. Nice capture. Now let's go down and stop this, please. Gonna take us two months to get there, though. It's gonna be close whether we get there in time. Very close. But then we're closer to the capital and all that other good stuff, too. Okay. Uh, Salomon, a wooden shield of masterful craftsmanship, constructed from sturdy oak planks and bound together with a rim of wrought iron. The edge is inlaid with deer antler and painted with images of a wolf's head. Filkir Wabri Shield, 0.14 renown per month, small wall ornament. Magnificent. That might be as good as something else in here, right? Let me see. 0.16, 0.16. Point 0.16. Not quite. We're going to give the shield to somebody else then. How about this guy? Perfect. Enfrith is deserving of Filkir Wabri Shield. There's not too many purple items, so we should be able to find it pretty quickly, you would think. That gives renown. Why do we have that? It's a lot of not Ravenheart kings and queens out here. There we go. Fifty-six 
Vilkir Wabri Shield is there. There we go. A little more boost. We're almost down under 300 renown for whatever reason right now. Okay, apparently I'm fighting these people. That's going to slow us down. Definitely slowed us down. We'll be back to Living Legend in no time, by the way. 7 to 2,500. Yeah, we definitely got slowed down enough that they'll be able to finish the siege. Oh, well, maybe we'll draw them out with a fight here. The Goblet. A ceremonial goblet of masterful craftsmanship is made of gold ruby inserts. It got improved a lot. Man, it's still not great. This guy just doesn't make good enough stuff, honestly. Need to stop funding him. We stopped the siege! Hey! Supply capacity down 25%. That's awful. Seven to fourteen hundred. Permanent barracks in Farfa means Farfa's done. Twenty-six to fifty-three, twenty-six. We did not capture the leader again. Well, go home, Fatamata. Sure. We did successfully get the war score. Now let's go hit the capital next. Now we should probably hit this place right next to us first. Then we'll hit the capital. Already at 63, very nice. Ooh, you know what? I was having a thought, actually. The Mongol Empire, could we usurp this? 59 of 69, maybe. If we're if we're ever able to usurp that, it would like split the lands, right? You would think. I feel like that's what would happen, but I couldn't guarantee it, obviously. Uh, a local mystic insisted on seeing me, and upon being brought into my presence, he started wailing. And is that blood on his hands? The signs, the signs are not in your favor, my lord. I spilled the intestines of a hen, and the blood showed me your future. It's dark and full of death. That, that is ominous. You gained had bad omen for 10 years. Yeah, we'll be fine. If that's the only effect, like if nothing crazy is actually going to happen, it's just a medium health penalty, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine on our shallow grave. There you go. More goblets we didn't need. It's a shame, too. Empress Briska, my sly wife, is now held against her will by Duke Tone. Can I ransom her out, please? Yeah, can I ransom her out? Duke Tone. Huh. I guess not. She better be okay. Don't you dare exec execute my wife now. Did she lose her lands? <laughs> That's fine. She's supposed to be supporting me anyway. Totally fine with that. Lost for words. Not really. Cheating and bastards is kind of like the way of our people at this point. Nice. Got his air. Big. That's another section done. And now if he passes away soon, that should help us a lot. Speed things up. Thank you for the renown. Very grateful. The gold too, but mostly the renown. We just need him to pass away so that we can declare war again. Uh, I might consider your attention if you were to bring a grand prize. Uh, Burning Thirst. I received a missive from my adventurer with words embellished so I could see her in the theater of my mind. I'm not in the desert, I'm in a land of dreams. The difference between awakening and sleep is gone. My guide tells me I hallucinate what I desire the most. A paradise, a pool of water glistening like diamonds laced with treasures at its banks. 
Instead, my lord, all I see is you here with me, forever one sandbank ahead, beckoning me to keep going, and it breaks me to know each step I take towards that mirage, I step further away from the true you. Oh, she's trying to make a play, is she? She gains dying of thirst for two years? Health small boost? <laughs> this is struggling through a desert in more ways than one. <laughs> dying of thirst. Oh no, it's a small boost though. I don't think this is, I think this is bugged. I think it's supposed to be a small penalty, but instead it's a small boost. Oh, sorry. No, I can't, I can't cheat on Briska, even for an amazing artifact. I'm sorry. No. He did kill her. Oh my. Wobbery. I feel like it has to be done back, doesn't it? Oh my... Duke Tone! I'm pinning you because you're my next murder target. This is happening. Plus three. Barely got this guy involved, but that'll get it up to 93% success rate. That's good. Uh, I don't... The chop usually goes away after a second, but it looks like right now it's not, not having it. I am not taking a 16-year-old at the age of 80-something. Ooh, she's got all the right traits. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Maybe. Oh, what am I gonna do? A new ruler to take over. Oh no! Roggen Hilder is great! If we have a new youngest kid... It will have giants and all that, though. I say we go for it and see what happens. Ah! <laughs> Risky! We might have a newborn be our new ruler soon. We'll see. How wild would that be? I didn't read it, but we all know how the poems go. I'm sorry. Should've read it. That's on me. Uh, wow. Yeah, it looks like we're going for a new kid, which means a new new ruler by Ultima Genitor rules. Liberty faction. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? We got a couple factions trying to happen here. We joined my sister Grasis in holy matrimony. Good. My glory is widely known. Back the living legend it is. Alright, and then the Liberty Faction. Fifty-eight. We can work on that. Two sways and we should be able to do that one. Pagan Warhammer, no. Look at what's left of this empire. Eighteen counties. We've got this. I can't wait for this grand right. Hell yeah. Hurry, finish that adventure before you die of old age. <laughs> Please. 1267 AD. It has been 400 years because the game started in 867 AD. 400 years is how long it's been in this game for us to go from a single duchy up here, Jomtalind, the movement to bring about the Viking rule to where we are now. That is crazy how far we've come. The Ravenheart dynasty is a completely different beast. It went from a single person 400 years ago to where it is now ruling almost all of the known world. Imagine. Okay, Grassus. Uh, definitely convert to witchcraft. Sway King Folko would stop. That's fine. I don't need to be swaying him anymore. Life to remember Briska. An ornate sailing ship. Briska deserves the best. We have the money to burn. 
She was a great wife. Stop the villain behind this. Everything we're doing right now has a good chance on it. Yeah, we're slaying her right now. I keep <laughs> I keep misclicking. My bad, my bad. There you go. Um, my champion of my vassal king, Sako, has given birth to a daughter. Sophia. Sophia is a cool name. Yeah, we can't usurp because they're the wrong faith. Fair enough. No, we lost an agent. <gasps> is that the last language? Ladies and gentlemen, 400 years after the game began, Lingua Franca, we got an achievement for it. Every single county in the known world speaks Norse. We have united the known world together by language. We all speak the same tongue. That is, imagine if the real world was like that, where you could just go to China and everybody spoke the same language. You could go to China, then go to Japan, then go to Germany, then go to France, and then go to South Africa, and everywhere you spoke the same language. Amazing. I stand in front of the small crowd of mourners, eyes sweeping over each of the way, we weeping bereaved, and turn and begin my speech. Briska, the barrel behind me already contains a purpose-built vessel, the product of exotic woods and our best shipwrights. It will never sail mortal oceans, but may please the gods and bring blessings on the deceased. Retainers carrying the last of the burial treasures, then finally, Briska's corpse laid out atop its bier. Close the mound. 24 stress relief, 350 prestige. Crazy. Crazy. Rogan he healed her, is like, No, what? <laughs> You're married again to a young woman. You can't have another kid. Then I won't be the Filkir anymore. You can't do this to me. But I can. Oh, but I can. Okay. I return from Syria with an artifact from my journey. I take the bulky bundle in my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside is the skull of a boar with razor sharp tusks. I ask Copley for details and she begins the story of how she fell the massive beast. Skull of a renowned boar of Jerusalem. Meh. I say meh. If you say so. There it is. Instantly give it away. Coplay left, huh? Alright. She's really old. She can retire. That makes sense. Ed healed his average. Court physician. Court poet. Sabina, yes. Villain behind this. Another cadet branch, of course. I'm sure we're gonna be closing out on 11,000 members soon enough. Not right now, but soon enough. I don't know why I just appointed her. Pretty sure she's gonna die really soon, but whatever. Ornament available. Okay. Is it the come off it one? Yeah, oh come off it. That is a really common event. Happens like almost every time we hire somebody. Crazy. How often that happens. We take a drink real quick. Oh, that's good. Whew. Delicious. Ice cold Dr. Pepper. Uh, it is my vice. I love Dr. Pepper way more than I should. But we all have our vice, right? We have our vice. <clears throat> Whoops. We're working on her. Khan is dead. Thank Odin. Although a new ruler has been proclaimed, High King Jochi can surely not be as horrifying as Jochi. Jochi II. Okay. Perhaps this is even the end of Mongol aggression. 
Genghis who? Look at that stat line on this kid. Whoo! Oh my goodness. I offer guardianship. I won't accept. Close. Close. He kind of thought about it. Damn. What a shame. Uh, this looks swayable if we make him love us. Hold the hell up. Yeah! We can't convert Faith, but we can guide him. Would you look at that? If it was a little higher? Hold up now. No, not opinion of me. Uh, he doesn't even want to be a like a martial person. Yeah, I think I'm the only one who could pass for this, but, huh? Man, I wish I could convert faith so much, <clears throat> but we just don't quite have that. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. I'll send that after this war, I guess. Because now it's a different guy, so we can do a, do we can do a war against him as, again. All de jure lands? <gasps> that is everything except Tuva in a single war. That is huge. That is huge. Declare war. And that means that there's only one war after this war. Before this thing's a wrap. And world domination is ours. That's how close we are. I have not checked the time in a long time. Because I forgot. Because, you know. I'm having fun. Oh, we still got a good 20 minutes. We got time. The Brethono Castilian culture from the Castilian of Breton. Okay. Loki must have been eager for his company. Alright, I didn't have to murder him. Just, we got it as is. Nice. What is this army I'm looking at? 31,350. He got a whole new set of special troops? Is that what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> what? I might have to reset this uh, summon here. He got a whole new set of con soldiers. <laughs> okay, looks like we got a little fight here, actually. Oh, it's on slowest. That's our problem. I was like, what? He's coming for us, isn't he? Leave us alone. Come on. Ah, oh, fine. Stop gathering, everybody. We need to go somewhere further away. Boo. Boo. Talk about inconvenient. I know how we can employ both strategies. Hell yes. Five more advantage on offense and defense, correct? Oh, defender advantage plus five. And in, what? Improve pillaging advantage minus five. What? Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want minus five advantage. Thank you. Interesting. We apparently already have an air worth 10%, so that's cool. Are they still going to come all the way up here for this? Hopefully not. We need a long time to be able to gather our armies, unfortunately. Good, they're most a lot of them are going the other way. Ugh. 
delicious. I do like the name Judith. Judith Grima's out here. So how's... <laughs> still not pregnant? Okay. Alright. Okay. How's Wabri looking, by the way? Oh, he's in poor health. He still has more than a year left, but... Imagine we have, like, a newborn takeover. Yikes, that actually would be pretty rough. But a giant, right? Yeah, condemn him. When you make a mistake, you gotta own up to it. Gan Gandalfer, yeah! <laughs> Gandalfer Hissingerson. Love it. <laughs> Empress Grassus, who, by the way, we do need to customize. She is an empress, after all. <clears throat> uh... And then closes Indian armor. I love how it looks. Bang. Looking good. Empress Grassus. Alright, alright. I see it. It would be pretty cool to take over as a kid, though. Welcome to our communion, sister. Yes, she's a witch. Now let's seduce her. Can we not seduce her? <laughs> no? Okay. Is it because we're 85? I guess that adds up. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, fine. I buy that. That's fair. Rog and heal there it is. I'm cool with that. We'll all gather here and then we'll move our way down. Get ourselves started. I can't believe the war after this one could very well be our last. That's how far we've come. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Alright, here come all the Mongolians. They see us gathering. They're preparing. They're not going to be prepared, but they're preparing. Here we go. Coming in hot with a massive professional army. One the Mongolians stand no chance against, special soldiers and all. See you later. Oh my god, that advantage. 17 to 3,000, the Mongol war banner will take as a fine collection piece. Well, 60 advantage. Oh my. That was fast. 9 to 4,756. That's a lightning speed right there. That was crazy fast. Six to nine forty-five. Okay, and then I guess we'll hit the capital after we retake this real quick. She's pregnant. It's happening. We're gonna play as a baby. That's our next ruler. Is gonna be a baby. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. But oh yes. How exciting. Whoa. Let's go hit the army. It's so easy to get battle score that way. Geetha can marry. She's a catch. She's craven though. Mm. 
Man, everyone's so old. Prince Tikamil of Nitra. There we go. Red Heart Lita. Beautiful. There's the marriage. We're about to have a new kid, and that new kid is going to become our player heir due to Ultima Geniture. <laughs> what a crazy succession law. Oh, had another kid? Now that's the heir. Now, obviously. It's just her still. Grandial excess. Oh, talking about the meals. Yeah, only the best for my court. Absolutely. We are the best in the land, obviously. What are, what are the most prestigious courts right now? I'm curious. Thessalonica's second. Transoxiana's third. Serbia's fourth. Mesopotamia's fifth. France is 6. France is always there somehow. Pontus is 7th. Bavaria is 8th. Blemia is ninth, And Khorasan is 10th. Really? That's an interesting top 10, isn't it? Look at those high-grade warriors just refuse to die over there. Look at that. They're gonna lose, but they did a really damn good job. Look at that. Are they gonna win? They're gonna win! What? Did you see this swing on this battle right here? Were you watching this? Rewind if you weren't. This battle is insane. The quality of the men at Cargassia must be insane. For them to turn that one around. They won! They won that! Whoa! That's actually crazy that they won that. And before help could get them to them too, the whole nine yards, they straight up just decimated that. With 22 people left, they won that. What a close battle, but they absolutely made it happen. Bravo. Bravo. 40% battle won, okay. They have Harhira. Where is Harhira? That's south? That is south. Those pops a nasty surprise. Yeah, that that was my fault. I mean, dear, I cannot express how sorry I am. Yep, that's my fault. That one's on me. That one's on me. There it is! <laughs> our new player heir, our new daughter. <laughs> Whoa, Alvor, Alfreder. Listen, we. Our very first character we played as started as a three year old and led us to this point. Now that we finally made it to primogeniture, ultimate geniture, and we're finally about to control the entire world, I feel like Oda is the perfect name, right? As an homage to our very first Filkir, to celebrate that the world conquer, <laughs> she very well, well might be the person who does the dagger for taking over the world. Like, and sh look at the traits. Come on, Princess Oda Grasistotir, who will be our first ever Filkir succession. Not done by votes, but done by families, by blood ties. While I'm in the midst of drilling my heavy cavalry, Queen Zivana approaches me as I sit atop my steed. She avoids my gaze and stares at the ground. After much hesitation, she speaks up. My lord, all we ever seem to do with our armored horses is charge them directly at the enemy's straight line. Is it not time we attempt another approach? Fool, there's no finer stratagem known to men. Crushing charge. 15% more heavy cavalry damage and toughness. 150 prestige and 300 experience. Whoa. Nice. Very good. We like that. Let's go take the capital after this. 
See if we can get a nice capture. King Ibrahim got a lever letter. Okay. Oh, we can sway her for sure. There you have it. Demand conversion. Whoops. It's getting choppy again. Ever since uh, it's become like the Mongolian Empire and us, it's starting to get choppy a little bit. I wonder if the game has just lasted so long that there's so many characters to keep track of and armies and everything that it... Send Child to University. What? We can send children to university? 1,500 gold to do it, huh? Wow. Send Oda to university. We'll get a better education than usual. She better. That's crazy. I can't wait to see how that goes. Renowned physician, just like that. Excellent. 1,500 gold to raise her by university. Hopefully that goes well. Uh, yeah, send my regards. <laughs> he learned Norris. He better learn Norris. The whole world speaks Norris. Imagine not speaking the language everybody else speaks. Man, our martial skills are getting good. We're up to 55. Not one day too soon. The Lecherous Fiend. Make sure we still have time here. And we have about five minutes. So let's go ahead and close out this war. And then we'll probably call it an episode there. We might get to 1270 AD, but I doubt it. We'll see. We'll see. I can't believe... <laughs> can't believe Rogan is not going to be our next leader. Oh. Queen just took over that doesn't believe in Asatru. Okay. Something to work around there. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. 35%, but she's got strong believer tradition. Yeah, she's gonna have to love us before that one works. Did we get anything valuable? We did! We got the main air, plus 50%. Nice. Is that a place? Yeah, we can just take that and call it a war. No, there's one right here. What am I talking about? Two weeks?! How on earth would that take two weeks? Whatever. Roll with it. Roll with it. They're not getting that one done anytime soon. Oh, they, I think they realize the situation they're in, but it's too late. And that's the war. We'll go to 1269 AD. First of January. So be it. Got a bunch of weak hooks. And this is it. This is the Mongol Empire. These eight counties are what stands between us and owning the entire world. Yeah. And we and if we had plus 30 vassal limit, we could basically vassalize everybody and still be happy. Odin will judge these sinners, yeah, true. Wow, I can't believe we're going to take over as a zero-year-old Oda. Incredible. Show the man in, yeah. Serve me well, King Elfried. And then, there you have it. Oh, throw her in jail and convert her. Should have gained a, a weak hook too, but oh well. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. 1269 AD, 1st of January. And there are eight counties between us and 100% complete world domination. Which means next time is the big one. And we'll see if Wabri can finish this out in his time or if, or if Oda will have to do it herself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey through Crusader Kings 3 with the Ravenheart Dynasty. It's been a long, long road. 
and the end is in sight. I can't believe it. Again, leave in the comments whether you want me to continue after world domination. I'm not sure what goals are left, but maybe you can give me some, and we can see what happens from there. So, thank you so much again, and I can't wait to see all of you next time.